Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with a weekly forecast for Virgo for the week beginning the 31st of July 2017. Now, just before I start this reading, I just want to say, Virgo, um, my new booking system, I now can do readings that are half hour, 45 minutes or an hour. So you, you decide which one you want. I've had to do this because I'm I'm terrible with time, so I'm having to be strict, you know. Um, but what's happening is people have messaged me um, an email because when you go on to the booking times, they're in 15 minutes sort of slots. So this does not mean that you're going to get a 15 minute read. And I don't do 15 minutes. You know, the way I read 15 minutes isn't um, enough. So it's just the times that are like that. Once you book your reading, book it in, then it automatically works and you'll get the confirmation of that. OK, so just to clear that up, because people were freaking out thinking it was a little bit of a 15 minute reading, which it's not. OK, so just to get that cleared up. So this week, Virgo. Uh, like I say, I, I pull initially a few cards and then carry on pulling throughout the reading. But so far, so good, Virgo. A lot of change is coming. This is it. I think you are in, I don't want to say the eye of the storm because I, I storms seem a little bit too dramatic and a little bit too fierce. But I feel like you are, there's, there's changes, okay? There's changes. That wheel is moving, you know? Um, And I feel this is all sort of it can be a little bit sort of daunting when we're experiencing change but it can also be exciting you know it's we're going from the familiar into the unknown you know which can sort of rock us a little bit but I feel you're going to be okay because what I'm seeing here is I feel like this is a chance for you for like a rebirth a renewal okay this is a chance for you to sort of step out into the world and be who you were meant to be because you're getting here you're getting a lot more balance come in now you know things have been tough for Virgos you know I am one so you know believe me I do know it but what they're saying here is there is a lot of balance coming in for you, okay? So like I say, accept these changes, don't resist them, you know, this week sees it sort of. Something happens this week which actually gets you sort of, you know, that speeds up the momentum a little bit, you know, I can't even speak there. Um and this is the birth of something new. It's a very fertile period for you. There's a lot of love coming in as well for you, Virgo, so please don't resist this neither you know this is a time when you can fully be yourself you can actually it's like you are you are opening up to the ways of the universe you know if we know you love is universal okay and it is always the answer you know the question's often irrelevant love is always the answer and what they're saying is this week it's like dare to dream okay it's like all of these things that you've been thinking in your head or suddenly could start to come to fruition this week as well you know so this week I see you planning this is it you are planning it's like taking that one step which I feel will carry on over the next six months okay so this is it it's like you are taking the step into sort of smoothness into going with the flow okay there could be something come out of the blue this week as well more sort of i feel in wednesday thursday this could be communication this could be um sort of a meeting this i, I don't know what this is they're not showing me but i feel this is going to sort of spur you on to be your authentic self you know it's it's it, this could actually be love virgo if you if you aren't taken you know if you are single then this could actually be love coming your way and it's like you know it's heading towards you it's sort of like cupid cupid's arrow is heading for your heart here and i feel that there is a lovely feeling with this but what i want to say to you virgo is you feel in control with this this makes me this makes you feel powerful rather than disempowered Powered. A lot of times as Virgos, when we get into relationships, we can actually give our power away. This is actually going to empower you no matter what this is, okay? So there is a decision for you to make around this. Now, I know you're looking at me going, no, 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 I'm not even going there. I'm not even going there again with what I've been through in the past. But I want to say to you that this is going to be balanced, okay? Whatever collaboration you have this week... I feel it is going to be balanced. It's on. It's it's on like evil. Even, it's on even footing 
okay? Like I say, it's on even footing. So what you are putting in, you are getting back, you know? And that's that's quite, quite strange. Um, But I feel that you have a fear of what could happen, what could go wrong, what has happened in the past and stuff like that. You know, please don't let this put you off, Virgo, okay? Because I feel what is in the past, you are not chained to the past no more, okay? Yes, there are some... I feel there's some horror stories, that's what they're saying, you know, and I feel there's some, like, not nice things, break free from it, okay, break free, there's been a lot of, this week, a lot of people, like, a lot of the signs breaking free from the past here as well, and I feel the past is what has been putting blocks in your way, so the past is what has been putting these obstacles in, and now this is completion, you know, this is about you haven't been able to see where you're going because the the hurt of the past has been sort of like it's been attached to you, you know, energetically you've still been attached to the hurt of the past and I feel there's been sadness, I feel there's been loss, I feel there's been pain, you know, but this is saying that is gone now, you know, please open yourself up to life because you know, this change is coming in. If we look at, you know, the wheel of fortune, it's like what goes down has to come up and it's your time for on, on the up here, Virgo. I know that there's a little bit of fear here. This is saying there's a little bit of fear of getting moving, you know, and it's like you have grown used to the fighting and I really feel around relationships. This is saying, you know, relationships do not need to be about fighting. You don't have to fight for it, you know when love comes and it comes freely you know that is when you can take it and accept it it doesn't need to be a struggle now some of you it's saying here some of you could have been in a relationship where there was three people involved and I feel one of them could have been another earth sign okay possibly a Capricorn here you know um, and this I feel it's sort of there's you know some Virgos this won't be all Virgos because, like I say, you know, this is a general reading. If you want a personal reading, then, you know, that's the only way I can tap into your specific situation. But this is about leaving that behind. This is about leaving behind anything that no longer serves you, Virgo, you know. It's like you have been sort of, it's like you've been accepting, right, okay, my life has got to be like this, you know. Good things don't happen to, to Virgos. I want to say to you this week, good things do happen to Virgos, okay. And this week, you could could be getting an offer of love okay this is for you I really feel it's like it's telling you you've got to be practical you've got to be pragmatic you've got to do things the right way if you do this with careful planning you can actually come by September into a very very good place okay a place where you are feeling abundant a face place where you are feeling independent a place where you are feeling in control of your life and a place where you are feeling where you're um, you can allow your heart and your emotions to be given freely okay you just have to believe this this virgo you know this week i really see you sort of planning for your future but also manifesting what you want as well write a note to the universe telling it what you want you know do a vision board something like that hold that vision in your mind and this will take you forward um <coughs> i feel like there could be an air sign i feel this could have a link to the past could be getting in touch yet and i just want to say this is do you know what i mean it's I feel that there is too hard work there. Like I say, you're going through these changes and I don't feel you can take anything from the past with you, you know. It's like let that fall away as this wheel, as this wheel sort of spins because I feel that you have been hanging in the balance. You've been in limbo. I feel you don't know which way you've been going. It's like which way, what way, I don't know which way, you know. This is it, a little bit like falling through like Alice through the looking glass you know <coughs> falling down this hole but what I want to say to you <coughs> is if you go down this hole on your own accord okay if you go in the direction you're being like presented by the universe if something is offered to you to go with it you know not something from the past something new you know I feel 
this is where you can get your happiness, you know, and this is where you can get your fresh start as well. And this is why, this is why I don't feel this is something from the past. I feel this is something new. This is something fresh, you know, that's it. It hasn't been tainted, you know, it's, it's, it hasn't passed its sell by date. It's fresh. It's something new I'm getting here. Some of you could be baking bread as well. I don't know why they're saying that. I don't know if it's a metaphor or what, but it's like, you know, it's sort of, um, yeah, I'm seeing sort of bread, like kneading bread, so molding it into what shape, molding your life into the shape that you want, you know, and then sort of sticking it in the oven and waiting for it, to, waiting for it to come out, you know, so sorry about that metaphor, that's a really, really crap one, but that's, that's what they give me there. Um, some of you, there could be something around a house where there has been a block around your house as well, and I feel that this could be moving within the next four weeks, they're saying to me, there's something, because they're, they're definitely, definitely a new beginning coming here for you, Virgo, a new beginning, there's money coming as well, so if some of you are selling a home, or something like that, or some of you have invested in property it could be coming to fruition it's like you know this is your time you have been to battle you have done all of that you're coming back victorious you know you are like i say you're you're riding that horse of victory that is what you're doing and you are focused on your new beginning you are now prepared to protect yourself from anything that is not for your highest good anything that is going to hurt you anything that is going to harm you you are not prepared to even go there you know um and like I say, this is sort of what you've been waiting for. We've had this with other, we've had this with other, um, with other signs this week as well. There's, there seems to be a bit of a theme, and I feel that there could be an offer. This they're saying here. Oh, I'm sorry, my foot's gone to sleep. Um, they're saying here that there's something divinely guided. Okay, I don't work with angels, but I feel they're saying there. You know, it's like the angels have brung this. So I don't know what this is. But whatever it is you've been waiting for, whether this is love or what, this is coming in for you. And I feel there's a lot of creativity coming for you as well. Um, there's there's some of you, like I say, they're, they're, they're shown here. I don't know. Some of you could be going away. Some of you could be going somewhere where there's mountains. But this is this is like I, I feel there's I don't feel it's mountains to climb. I, I, I feel it's it's like. It's sort of saying to me, yeah, you know where the air's clearer. This is this is it. It's like, you know, people go to Switzerland and stuff because the air's clearer. So I'm seeing this. It's like, I don't know if you're rising up a level or or something like that, you know. But there's, there's like I say, the air is clearing for you. This is it. The air is clearing. Your head is clearing as well, you know. And like I say, I do feel that there could be somewhere somewhere hot here as well. Um, it's like you have been doing a whole load of soul searching, Virgo. This is what it's saying. You've had time on your own. You've had time on your own to think, you know, um, and now you are, are ready to sort of get your karma, get your payback. And this is what I feel the angels are going to give you. Like I say, I don't know why they're bringing angels in because I don't work with angels at all. But it's like, you know, there is good coming for you as well. There is really, really good coming for you as well. Um, I feel like... I always get this, whenever something's going well for Virgo, there always seems to be somebody like wanting to sort of have their two penneth worth sort of thing. And I feel like there is somebody around who I don't know. Again, I feel this could possibly be air, air sign. If not, they're cold. There's, there's a coldness around this person. And I feel that this person does not want you to move on in some way. It's like, you know, they're wanting to keep you here. So you could be, this could be a boss. This could be, you know, this could be a partner. This could be an ex-partner. This could be a family member or something. Somebody is not wanting you to progress in some way. And they could actually be trying to sort of like pull on your emotions because they know that you're a softie, you know, they, they they think that you're a soft touch. So this is it. They could be saying things, you know, that 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 stop you from making your plans. Don't listen to them. This is your time, Virgo. This is what I'm seeing, you know. You know, it's like in your head, you see this horizon, you see where you want to be. You know, you've done a long, hard battle to actually get there as well, you know. And this is where you are going. Do not let anybody sort of push you off track here. 
I feel that there could be a few arguments around friendships here as well. I want to say there could be a false friend in some way. Somebody could be, you could be telling something to somebody in confidence and they could then be passing it on to someone else. Okay, so be careful around friendships as well. Be careful, you know, make sure that you're trusted you trust the people that you you tell your secrets to as well. But what I want to say is this, it's like the sun is shining on you, Virgo, this week. Okay, there's, like I say, I do feel that there's there's this, like, sort of, sort of childlike, I don't know, like I say, that you know, this, this could be relationships because I feel that there could be something new, someone new, and it's this is like feeling like a teenager again you know when you've got them butterflies in your tummy and you know it's like like sort of um, in the cartoons when the 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 uh, hearts actually pop out on stalks on their eyes you know there's this because i'm getting a real sort of a nice feeling here and any offers that you get this week i feel you should take them up there's a real childlike feel here but i feel you're going to be in control whatever it is nobody is going to push you there's no there's no pushing you to do something that you you don't want to do you know this is it it's like it's like you feeling free you're feeling you're feeling free you're making decisions you're not holding back anymore you know you're embracing these changes virgo and i feel this is what you've got to do like i say there's a lot of wishes coming true for you virgo you know um keep your heart open, you know, and like I say, keep this free spirit, this is what is going to be your saving grace, you know, with whatever comes in this week, you know, don't look to people for answers, you know, if anybody tells you you can't, you just say, I'll, I'll show you that I can, you know, so this is it, there's a real new start for you, and this change, I feel, is is needed is massively needed but there's sparks there's sparks of something could be sparks of lighting a fire of love there could this could be creativity this could be new work you know there is something that has something that has a way to go with this you know and i think it's beautiful so anything that is standing in your way anybody that is standing in your way just ask them to step aside you know this is your turn now virgo okay so what a really really nice reading there's an innocence coming through with this like a real purity i don't think you're doing this with any malice or anything it's like you just know that you've got to you've got to do this as well you know um and it's yeah what what a, what a lovely lovely feeling here i'm i'm sorry i'm just they're, they're showing me something there and i'm trying to work out what what it actually is it's um right okay right you know when you used to did you used to pick a daisy when you were young and pull the petals off and go like he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not, you know, can you remember that, or she loves me, she loves me not, this is what I'm actually seeing, this, this is what they're showing me as well, so like I say, there could be declarations of love, of interest, of something like that this, this week Virgo, you know, but there's a real, like I say, a nice feeling with it, this isn't, you know, I don't think this is anything off Tinder, you know, this isn't anybody sending dick pics or anything like that, you know, <laughs> sorry, that's what they're saying, you know, this is a niceness, this is a getting to know you, that's what they're singing that song, what's that, that song, getting to know you, an old, old 70s song, I think, <laughs> why do they give me things like this, you know, they don't realise it's embarrassing, but this is how they, they give me them, so yes, it's, it's like I say, I don't think this is going to be, um, in any way sorted. <laughs> I'm just going to pull a spirit card for you and see what we've got. Oh, my life. Right, okay. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> this is beautiful. And it's called, Can You Feel Me? And again, look at that. You know, there's like, there's a couple in that and they almost if you turn that around it's like they that snake that's around them is also almost like a, a, a heart isn't it and this says your feminine aspect is awakening feel the goddess energy inside of you she seeks acknowledgement and validation new energies insights and opportunities are emerging wake up embrace and celebrate and this is it you know if you are female and um, um, 
like celebrate your femininity you know celebrate that you know it doesn't matter what shape size whatever you are i was at a event the other day and there, there was a couple of burlesque dancers there and they were quite big girls but they were rocking it you know and that is it you know the most attractive thing that you can wear i mean they, they say the most attractive thing you you can wear is a smile you know but is when you are happy with yourself when you are happy with all aspects of yourself you know when you embrace your femininity and we have the empress in there in your reading and this is what she does you know she struts her stuff you know she knows that she's got it going on but not in a sort of you know like sort of look at me type of way you know it's because she has accepted and embraced every aspect of herself if you are male what this is saying is you know allow your feminine side out allow you yourself to be emotional you don't have to be this big macho man you know a man who can actually embrace his feminine side and talk about his emotions and everything is very very attractive because that shows strength you know so you don't have to lift weights in the gym to show strength you know what you have to do is like i say maybe pick a flower you know don't buy them just pick one you know something like that that actually shows a lot of strength as well and also like i say you know male or female whichever sex you are attracted to you know or whatever it's like honor the feminine you know the feminine is where this birth comes from you know the feminine is beautiful and we all have this feminine aspect within us as well but we need to let it out more so let that inner goddess shine you know so I like that card. It's really, really nice. But like I say, there's there's steaminess. We had this last week, didn't we, for Virgo as well? You know, so there's there's something going on if it all if it already hasn't, okay? So I hope that made sense to you, Virgo. Um please forgive whatever I said. I just give whatever I I get out, and sometimes they like to play with me a little bit. Um, but please let me know what is going on because there's something in here looks very, very promising, okay? Uh, and if anybody would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. The link is below. And like I say, you know, don't get scared over the 15 minute sort of booking slots. Uh, whatever time you decide to book the reading for, that will actually sort it out, okay? So have an absolutely fabulous week, Virgo, and I'll be back with the dailies. Satnam. <laughs>